MMA rants and raves, Chael Sonnen vs. Nate Marquette. You know something, guys? You know what this match really proves? And it really cements it in my mind that there's one technique in fighting, one technique that is above all the rest. Now, let's look at all of them in mixed martial arts. Let's, let's go through them right now. What do we have? We have boxing. We have kickboxing. We have Muay Thai. We have judo. We have karate. Uh, what else is there? There's submissions. Out of all of them, out of all of them, the most important one is wrestling. Wrestling reigns in mixed martial arts. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. You know, all you have to do, look at George St. Pierre. In my opinion, you can have your own opinion. In my opinion, George St. Pierre is one of the greatest pound per pound fighters in the world. I would say he's number two or three. The guy is an incredible fighter. Now, why is he an incredible fighter? He always was a great athlete, a world class athlete. But what he did was, throughout his career, he was a very good striker. He had all kinds of other abilities that he was able to do. I mean, the guy is very well-rounded, which, which is what makes him so good. But he's not a wrestling pedigree. He, he never trained specifically as a wrestler. So what he did was, he learned to become one. Why? Because he saw that he has a lot of strength, he has a lot of quickness, and he's a very intelligent fighter. And he has a lot of patience. So he saw that he knows that wrestling you use all parts of your body. A lot of hand and body and eye foot coordination. It's all coming together. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be able to take guys down and control them. So he saw, he said, you know what? If I'm able to do this, I could really step up my game. And the perfect example is the Matt Sarah fight. The Matt Sarah fight, Matt Sarah one and two. Just look at the first fight. He embarrasses GSP. Then look at the second fight. GSP absolutely destroys Matt Sarah. He destroys him. He wasn't going to stand up. I'm going to take this guy down. He's a small guy. I can definitely get him down and ground him and pound him out or just control him. Just control the guy throughout the fight. And, you know, just look what happened. It was just, it's just two different fighters. And that's what wrestling does. I mean, here's more proof. I mean, we could use combat sambo, for example. Sambo is like a form of wrestling. It's basically instead of, you know, you shoot for a takedown, you, you lift and throw. You just go back with the guy and you just drop him down. I mean, I, I've practiced some of this stuff, so I know. So it's just a form of wrestling because you're taking a guy down. You have to get him down, and then once you have him down, you figure out what you're going to do. It's either ground and pound, you can go for a Kimura. There's a lot of things you can do when you're on top of a guy, you have the advantage. And, you know, you know there are some exceptions, like Nogueira. You know, he's a guy who likes to be on his back, but how many fighters are like him? Uh, but, you know, the point being is... It's just GSP is one example. And, you know, of course, just look at Brock Lesnar. Look at what he's done when he came into the UFC. The guy has been so dominant, and it's just because wrestling. He's a specific wrestler. It's all he does. He's not going to stand up with you or do anything else. He's just going to wrestle. Look at Randy Couture. I mean, he's... Uh, the guy has so many championships already. He's, he, he's, he's been a champion in two different weight classes. He's done it with wrestling. He's got a lot of tools that he uses, but it's wrestling. So... If you, you're able to wrestle, you have a clear advantage. And I'm going to go more into it now, a little bit more, scientifically. I mean, just look. Let's say you have a pure boxer against a pure wrestler. And they're on the same skill set, let's say. From a level of 1 to 10, you have one guy, a boxer, who's from 1 to 10, he's like a 5. And you have a wrestler, 1 to 10, he's like a 5. So, you know, their, their skill is basically the same. They're on the same level of where they are, comparable to their peers. So you have these two guys going up against each other. Who are you going to pick to win you know I'm going to pick? How good boxing is and how important it is in mixed martial arts, I'm going to pick the wrestler. Because boxing, first of all, you've got to be very accurate with your blows. And a lot of them miss. You know, he's got to be accurate. You've got to be able to hit the guy. And the octagon of the ring is a big place. You can be evasive. You can, you can try to get away. And There's a lot of things you can do to defend against boxing. What really leaves you open is when you try to fight back. A wrestler is not going to stand up with a boxer. He's going to go for a takedown. He's looking for an opening. He may be able to eat a punch, or, or a knee, even a kickboxer. But when he gets that takedown, the boxer is totally out of his element. He can't extend his arms, even if he has knockout power, it means nothing. You can't box a guy flat on your back, can't even move your arms, you're being pressed, you're being pressed down by a guy who's on top of you who's controlling you. 
It's the guy on top who has all the advantage. He has all the arsenal. He can throw punches. He can throw elbows. I mean, anything. And basically, you're on your back until the round ends and the referee physically pulls you off. I mean, I can even use an example. Look at Mike Tyson. Before he's knocked guys out, he's been pressed against the ropes many times. He's... He was mostly a smaller heavyweight at 210, 215. He had guys sometimes 40, 50 pounds heavier than him. And he had himself pressed against the ropes. <laughs> the refs weren't going to come there and separate them. So, you know, the ref was there to bail him out, to get the guy off of him and separate them so they can continue boxing. But you know what? If he was in a mixed martial arts ring or an octagon, referee would not be there to separate them and he'd be picked up and dropped on his head and probably get mauled pretty badly. So, basically wrestling is, um, is a superior martial art. If you're able to use that and do it well, it's probably more important than any of the any other, other martial arts. That's, that's the way I see it, because I've seen such great fighters make a living out of it. They just made a living out of it. I mean, there are some exceptions, like I said, look at Noguera. I mean, he's a guy who likes to be on his back. And he, but he's the greatest jujitsu artists in the world. He, there's nobody even close to him. So, I mean, he has his own school. He teaches this stuff. So, you know, he's a guy who likes to be on his back. But, you know, when you, when you say exception to the rule, I'm saying the rule. And the rule is that it seems to be that wrestling, and of course Sambo, is, uh, is a superior martial art. That's the way I see it. Anyways, getting back to this fight, this cements what I was saying. You have Nate Marquette, who's a more well-rounded fighter than Chael Sun. That's fair to say. The guy has a lot more different types of skill sets to use in the octagon. But, but look what happened. All those things are taken away from you when you have a world-class wrestler who's taking you down at will and who's basically, you know, resting himself on top of you and just doing whatever he wants. Because if he has you down, he can throw the elbows, he can throw the punches. And to Marquette's credit, you know, he can try to fight back as best as he can. But if you can't defend against takedowns, there's not much that you can do. And his takedown defense was really bad. And he, he's, uh, you know, he, he had the same problem on other fights I've seen him fight. He, he just, against wrestlers, like, uh, look at uh, Almeida, the Almeida fight. You know, he was taking him down the entire, the entire match. And he even ended it with a submission, but even if he didn't submit him, he would have lost that fight. Marquette would have lost. So that's the bottom line. It just seems to be that, that wrestling is, is this superior martial art. Like I said, the Chael Sonnen and Nate Marquette fight. Just look at that fight. You got a guy who's more around him, but you have a guy who's just extremely good at what he does. And, and that's going to be the outcome. That's going to be the outcome of it. But anyway, uh, moving on to something else, they say that basically Sonnen will fight Anderson Silva, and that's a fight I'd like to see. And you know what, guys? I'm not going to talk about it now because it's not even in the works yet. But I think Sonnen has a good chance in that fight. I'm going to give him a chance. You know, Silva's a great fighter, legendary fighter, but, you know, I, I have to say this, I was blown away by Sana's performance. I just think it, it, it was a really good, strategic, smart fight, and there's something else that he has. He's got a very hard chin. You know, he took a knee to the face by Marquette, and then he took that elbow and it cut him open. The guy was leaking blood. I thought the fight was going to stop. And then the other thing he did, he got out of that uh, guillotine at the end. I thought the fight was over. He caught him in that guillotine. Wow, after all this that he did to Marquette, and he has this fight basically wrapped up, he's going to end up losing in a guillotine? I was like, wow. And he got out of that. The guy has mental toughness. He was able to get out of that choke. Not many people can do that. This is a talented fighter, guys. He's here, and he's a serious fighter, and Anderson Silva better be ready. So it... it it should be interesting if these guys fight. I would like to see that fight. I would like to know what you guys have to say about this. And I would like to know. Let's make this a poll. What do you think? What do you think is the greatest and most important martial art out of all the martial arts that we discussed today? Please subscribe and thank you for tuning in.